everyone, I'm Val, and this is our Halloween haul 2024. Let's check out some of the stuff we got for the spooky season. Home Depot. I'm super excited. We're decorating the yard this year. Jay's not real sure about it, but we're going to go with the cemetery theme. So I get to use scullies and tombstones and super excited. So one of the first things we got was this tombstone. And Jay actually got to help pick some of this stuff out. I'm super excited about her. Isn't she beautiful? Super heavy. And it's made out of a real hard plastic. So we know it won't get broken as easily. We didn't want to go with the styrofoam, things like that. So I'm super excited about her. We'll keep this for last. We got this great big tombstone, kind of similar to the first one, but it's got the decayed look. So once again, it's a hard plastic, heavy, so it'll stay put. So I'm super excited about this. I got my bats, but the bats aren't gonna go outside. They're gonna be on the Halloween tree, and we'll have to show you those later because it's super cute on the tree. So that's everything we got from Home Depot. Can't wait to decorate. Now I just gotta find time. So next is Big Lots. We got this super cute ghost, and if you saw our Big Lots video, you'll see what it does. It records and talks back to you. Super adorable, love it. So that's Big Lots. This next one, I didn't personally buy but a good friend of mine gave it to me. Absolutely love this. She knows how I love Halloween. She goes to Sam's. She got me the Frankie candy dish. Is he not adorable? I can't wait to use them this season and fill them up with lots of candy. Jay's got to be daring to put his hand in there. So that's from Sam's. So the next thing we got was a graveyard skeleton and this one came from Lowe's. The only thing I really found, the one thing I really wanted from Lowe's, they didn't have so I couldn't buy. So I was a little disappointed there, but he's going to go perfect in our graveyard with some of our uh, gravestones. And what is it Val? It is a graveyard skeleton and it peeks up over the tombstones. So I'm super excited to put him out and see how he works. So next is at home. There was lots of things that we wanted to buy and I kind of held off because it was the first place we went. But I got some cute little skellies. We're gonna find these out in the graveyard, I think. At least this guy. I got these cute little ones. I'm gonna make a holiday wreath and they're gonna fit in there real good. And then we got another tombstone. It's a metal one. So this should last for a while. I've gotten some from them before. And they're metal ones. I think we've had those for like five or six years. And there's no wear or tear to them. It's awesome. So that is everything from at home. So the next thing we have is from Party City. Got quite a few things from there. Super excited about a couple because I had never seen them before. First thing we got was our pumpkin skelly. He's about three foot tall, I believe. Super excited about him. Bendable, movable. That'll work out great. And then of course we got just a regular skelly. Three foot tall. 
He's going to be grayed out in the cemetery. So the next thing I'm really excited about, because I've never seen these before, we got some skeleton pumpkins. And these are super neat. I had never seen anything like this before. They had a couple of different sizes. And the holes are big enough that you could put lights in them and make them glow. So I can't wait to see how that works. And then one of the really cool things was the day we happened to go to Party City, they had a coupon going and they were giving away free little trick-or-treat pails. So we got this cute little pumpkin pail to go along with everything else. So last but not least, these last couple of things came from a store here in St. Louis called Ruler Foods. It's a division of Kroger, so a lot of you might know who that is. This two-piece luminary set is so super adorable. It gets, comes with one large one, and then it comes with a smaller one. And you can put candles in there and it just glows through. These are so cool. We never had these before. Can't wait to see what they look like. So when I brought this last item home, I tried to hide it from Jay because he was like, why do we need another skeleton? I can't pass up this green skeleton. Green is my favorite color and it glows in the dark. I can't wait to see how it looks under the black light. But he's one of my favorites. Okay, so this is everything we have picked up so far for the spooky season. And I can't wait to see what else I can find. We've got some horror conventions coming up. We've got some haunted houses to visit. You never know what they have in the gift shops. And we'll be out and about in a couple of different states. And I will make Jay stop along the way to see what I can find. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And leave in the comments down below what you've bought so far for your Halloween 2024 season.